This Flash into Action Script 3 lesson comes courtesy of the Creative Dot. He's a forum member at Develop PHP. He has a thread up and it says Create a detection if the user has Flash Player. He says, Hi, I was wondering if this can be done in Action Script 3. When a user does not have Flash Player and enters a Flash website, is there a way you can recognize this? And with a click, he and she can download the latest Flash Player from the site. Thanks in advance. And I said, You'd want to check if the user has a Flash Player before you were to even run a Flash file on a page. HTML page should do the checking. Need to know how to do that? And he says, yeah, thanks, that would be great help. And so that's what I'll show you how to do, and this is really quick, and you can really thank the Adobe programming team, uh, the creators of the programs, uh, for this. And so you can go into Flash Action Script 3, new file in CS3 or CS4. I'm in CS4 and CS3 here, and I'll show you in both and it's in the publish settings so if you if you're in a new file you can go to settings in CS3 here and there's the publish settings and you just go to the HTML tab and you click detect flash version and now it'll output a different kind of HTML page for you and you'll notice that so all you have to do is click that you set the version you want to check for and then you press OK and usually you want to check for the latest version and then uh, press OK and right now uh, I think I need to update mine actually we'll see okay and then uh, same thing for this one here let's see where's the publish settings here publish settings and then HTML tab detect flash version and oh I see it's a different flash version that they, that's needed for CS3 than CS4 but that's cool and then you press OK and then once you publish this out let's see let's save this save as uh, save it to the desktop as uh, test1 save in CS4 let's save this file save as the desktop test2 save and then let's publish this by pressing F12 and let's publish this by pressing F12 okay so you see all those files well you can't see it but they're landing on my desktop right now and let me close that out we don't need that now what I'm gonna do is let me just drag this over and then there's here's all those files that just got created on my desktop and now I'm gonna go into test 2 edit in Dreamweaver 8 or Dreamweaver CS4 I have CS4 but I'm I'm hooked on Dreamweaver 8 I just I love it I've played around a lot in CS4 and uh, it's cool but I'm just stuck on, on Dreamweaver 8 now let's open the other one too minimize this or get it down a little test 2 or test 1 let's open with Dreamweaver 8 as well okay now you can see here let's go ahead and close that down you can see here this isn't the normal file that you get you see here the globals the major version of flash required setting some variables for you there you can thank the Adobe team for that makes it all automatic you don't have to code anything or be a genius uh, I love it because I'm not a genius great guys alright so uh, in the uh, you see how in this if statement here an else statement it's detecting the flash version for you booyah all automatic and then it gives you content here that you can replace with any content you want you can go get a nice graphic or make your own nice graphic of the Adobe flash player button link and give them a link to go and download the Adobe Flash Player, the newest version. And then let's check out test 2, what it did. Beautiful. It's checking for the uh, browser. And then it also runs the check. Oh man, there's a lot of JavaScript in this one. Let's see, where is it? Flash version right there that looks like it and that checks for flash version as well and it should have 
a output sec an output section right there. Provide alternate content for the browsers that do not support scripting. And then there's also right here. Alternate HTML content should be placed here. This content requires uh the Adobe Flash Player and blah 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 blah. And they they even give you the link. Get Flash, see? So that's how it's done. It's all automatic. You don't have to go crazy and do a bunch of JavaScripting. Don't go looking on if you work in a CS3 and CS4, uh, I just showed you how to do it in both of them. No scripting involved, no genius involved. It's very easy. Thank the Adobe team for adding that to the functionality of the program. We'll see you next lesson.